Baltimore traffic. <sighs> Where am I headed so slowly? Well, to the Creator Summit at Car Supplies Warehouse. Made it, at least to Baltimore. <laughs> So this is back in April of 2023, and I know that I haven't shared much behind the scenes looks, so I thought that I would bring you guys along on a little bit of this journey of what it was like to be a part of the Creator Summit. This is the moment that I'm super excited for takeoff, but also praying that nothing goes wrong. And it was a perfect takeoff. I've flown to Chicago twice before, but never had a window seat. And holy cow, is that lake huge? And I had no idea that the skyline would be that massive. So as soon as I landed, got through the airport, went and picked up my bags, and of course we had to pick up a few other stragglers along the way. Tony Ralda from Ralda's Details, as well as Jessica Tran from JT Mobile Detailing, and Eric treated us to a delicious chili cheese dog and portillos. So everything went really well today with the flight. Got to meet Tony Walda, got to see Jessica Tran again, got to meet Eric, and uh, later on tonight we're going to be doing a launch party over at one of the bays for a new TTP product or a products, but I'm really excited. I cannot wait to meet everyone. I am honestly a little bit nervous. I feel like I'm in my head a lot. I, I struggle with like a, a low self-esteem in general. Um, I don't know if it's the... Uh, ADHD and the RSD, which is like the rejection sensitivity dysphoria. Um, I didn't realize until I got older that there was a reason why I was always just like walking away from every conversation that I've ever had and just like, oh, I should have said, oh, oh, you talk too much, or oh, and I am a nervous chatter. When I'm nervous, I just kind of, I hate silence, so I fill the silence a lot with just talking. And then I'll, I'll walk away from that situation and just be like, why did you talk so much? Like you, you just, so I'm trying not to be in my head a lot and just trying to kind of just go with the moment, be in the moment and just along for the ride, along for the journey, where, wherever that tends to take me. So a little nervous, but uh, I'm just really excited to meet everyone. And I'm just so thankful to Jason and, and his team for the hospitality. They already have just been treating us like, Kings and queens, and treating us to Portellos. Portellos, I think. I had a phenomenal chili cheese dog. It was so good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get to know everyone and then explore Chicago. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's the first time that they pull an event like this together. Super genius with Jason. Oh, it is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just got to geek out right now. <laughs> this is just. <laughs> I am like totally <laughs> freaking out. I went to I went to Rick's room and he greeted me. He's like, wait a second, I'm not. Right. <laughs> Here, just wait a second. There's probably going to be a camera when he opens the door. Yeah. He's probably holding <laughs> 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 the I'm total fangirling. It smells good. Brand new. That's Dell. That's Jess. That's Ray. There's Alex. And there's Jason. Well, I hope. Wow. I hope it works out for you, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope Pam all Anything I can do. <laughs> Brad Garage, anything I can do to help you out. <laughs> Shout you out. <laughs> it was so nice to finally be around my people. So our first night there for the G-Technique launch party, we headed on over to the bays, their wheeling location. They actually have two locations. We'll be at the main one tomorrow and the second day for all of our videos. But this is the coolest concept for me as a professional detailer. This is a location that whether you're a professional mobile detailer or just an enthusiast that you want to take care of your cars in a climate controlled environment, you can go and actually rent a bay to maintain your own vehicle or your customer's vehicles. They also have a retail space that you can purchase products at. I wish I had something like this in Lancaster, but this is where the G-Technique launch party was at. And holy crap, that guy was huge. All of the vendors and the creators for the Creator Summit were there, as well as guests from the local community for G-Technique to showcase some of their products. They showed us how to prep, 
and then apply their new coating. Oh yeah, and I saw this guy. First of all, thank you guys for coming. My name is Chris. I work for G-Technic. Um, we are hosting this event today to release XOV5. Um, XOV5 has been a long time coming. This is actually the 54th iteration of reworking the formula to get it to where we want it. Um, right now, David P just wiped it all down with panel wipe. Um, the car has been panel wiped on the hood, so I'm going to do a quick demo with XOV5. Um, with panel wipe guys, we do also have a new panel wipe coming out as well, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, there will be a little bit less strength to it, but still give you the same clarity and prepping the surface before you apply your coating. So keep an eye out for that. And then without further ado, XOV5. So if you guys haven't watched any of our videos yet with the TRCMA and things like that, XOV5, it has a denser surface. So it closes up more of the pores of the coating. Um, so with that being said, what it does, is the surface is slicker. So if anybody uses Ultra or CSL, very similar slickness to CSL and Ultra. Um, it's gonna add increased hydrophobics compared to V4. It added 9% increase to the gloss meter from V4 to V5. And it's also gonna be a single layer application. So that's a really big one for us. We know as detailers, you guys, time is money. So one layer, let's save that time, let's make some more money. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right into it before I keep talking too long. All right. um, again, application guys, it's about as easy as it gets. Um, Rob really nailed it. It's even easier than be, be, uh, before. So with me, um, I would still recommend using the three towel method, but you're gonna notice even just with the first towel, you're gonna get most of it up just on that first towel. So same as always, river method. So draw your river for your box. You pull from your river side to side. While at the launch party, I had the pleasure of getting to play with this product myself, and I have to say it was very easy to remove. If any of you guys would like a closer look at this product on this channel, let me know in the comments section down below and give us a thumbs up, and we can make sure that we do a dedicated review on these products as well as any other G-Technique products that you guys might be interested in in the future. Keep your day job. And that's it. It's about as easy as it gets. So we all had a fantastic time at the launch party, not only getting to play with some cool new products from G-Technique, but just getting to kind of hang out, get to know one another before we hit the ground running the next morning creating videos. Most of us had anywhere from three to four videos a day that we had to create, and you had about an hour long session each time to work with the manufacturer, the vendor, to create content. This is the first time that someone within the detailing industry has taken all of the top content creators from Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, paired them up with vendors for you guys to be able to get all the information straight to your devices. So this is day one of filming. We are at the base Romeoville location, and this is their retail space where they sell everything you could possibly ever need from new age cabinets, beads, racks for organization, chemicals, polishes, pads, compounds, everything you might need to be able to take care of your vehicles. Each morning we had an educational lecture as well as time for other creators to share tips and advice, which I just soaked up every bit of knowledge. Right after that, we all hit the ground running to create our videos with the vendors. 
some podcasters in the podcast room. Some of us even did spontaneous shorts outside. I got to work with Matt from Beads Racks, David from Oberk Car Care, Alan Medcraft from AM Details, Rick from Rad Garage. We did a cool video with Jason from Rupez. I even did some videos with McKees 37 and also did some stuff with the Rag Company. Did a video with Phil and Jess and DIY Detail as well as Amy Otterness. That one was so much fun to do. You can check out all of these videos in the links down below, but my favorite time in between filming was just being able to hang out in the creator room. There was just so much love and support within this room from all these different people. I just couldn't get enough of it. But another cool thing that I got to do was to tour where they actually package all of the products for Car Supplies Warehouse. When you go to their website and order products, Don was able to share with me uh, what products they sell and how they prepare your this packages. This stuff right here Very good stuff. is my favorite yeah. by far. Very good stuff. It, you turned me on to them uh, and I stuff. absolutely love them. I'm telling you that, this stuff is freaking awesome. The best. Oh my gosh. Like if, like if you have any sort of tar adhesive, like ink stains yeah. on carpets. Yeah. You just have to be mindful that because it is it's strong. strong. Yeah, it's really strong. It's pretty, pretty have pretty have open air. Yeah. You gotta be like but outside. this is one of my favorites right here. The, the magic wheel yep. cleaner. Even this is one of the best prep, panel yep. preps I've ever used. Yep. All their polishes, yep. bar none. Yep. I mean, you can't go wrong with really any of these products, but I've really come to appreciate. You yes, have I mean. every single brush that you could ever need or imagine if i were to pick my favorite out of this entire wall it would be this one right here this one's my favorite brush it's chemical resistant it's durable it's soft it's awesome so this is my favorite they all work really well if you need like super tight spaces but you can't go wrong with work stuff i felt like a kid in a candy shop getting to look at all of my favorite products that i have and hope to have. Oh, and if you remember the video where I was doing the sweatshirt giveaway, these are the sweatshirts and they're finally back in stock. Back in stock again. These are the best One of the things that I appreciate most about Car Supplies Warehouse and why I am an affiliate for them is their motto of tested, proven, packed. All of these products that they sell have been tested by professional detailers and have been proven to work and be effective. But not only that, they are packed professionally and with care. So he's the picker. He's the picker, yeah. I need to follow him. And then you're the packer. And then once he puts it down, it's us two packing. So two people packing and they've got tons of materials to protect. The order will get printed out here. Yeah, the order's printed here. And usually there'll be like a big stack depending on the day. Yeah. So like on Mondays, everything from over the weekend just stacks up and then we'll pretty much do an order that we'll get everything in. Okay. Uh, once that's ready, I get everything ready on racks, totes, and then I start picking the order. And the order. Get it right here. I'll give you a quantity. So for those who have ever ordered from Car Supplies Warehouse, want to know how you get your deliveries so fast? Well, here's how they prepare and package your deliveries. Nice. That's what I call quick customer service. While I was in the back, I ran into my good friend Jessica Tran, who was doing a TikTok showing her viewers how CSW prepares a package. We gotta get Chris from Barrows helping to pack his products. <laughs> That's you. That's you. And we got Jessica Tran. She's going to package a box for I'm one of her lucky friends on her channel with the help of Don. Take us through the system, Don. <laughs> what are we doing? We just double check that evidence here. So, um, you know, we've got the gallon of uh, wires. We've got the total sprayer. Uh, we've got so you 
do this for every single every order. Every single order. Every single order we do this. Uh, so not only is um, not only do we scan everything, so everything's picked right, but we also like you know just human error. We just want to make sure that everything's here. So um, this is all pretty much part of how frustrating it is to get your order finally. Yes. And it's not correct. I mean, there's a yeah, there's a many steps that go to this, but the thing that I I feel that you know separates us is the fact that we do things a lot of like animal. You know, we do things uh, very. You see a lot of that coming back, like in a lot of big businesses, a little bit more animal that's coming back. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. So from there, you know, if I'm confident, if the guys are confident that this is like all correct, then you know we make sure that everything's tight. Are you guys still right? taping these bottles or? No, we're, we're starting to move away from that. I was telling um, Chelsea that like with the uh, the sheer amount of orders that we're getting, because we're averaging about 160, 170 a day, and it just seems, and especially now that like uh, the season is among, uh, yeah. upon us here in the Midwest, um, that it's starting to ramp up, and we simply can't like do that anymore. It's just not conducive to getting orders out. Because our promise has always been like, if you order by one o'clock, it's out the door. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It's out the door that day. So what time does you know? UPS come by here? Uh, 4 30. Yeah, towards the end of the day. And you gotta get everything. We gotta get everything all ready to rock. And so um, by then, so. Doing this as efficiently and as quickly as we can uh, without really, you know, compromising um, too much out of. Uh, oh, look at that. So. I've got to say, it's like Christmas morning unpackaging a delivery from Car Supplies Warehouse. And I haven't had a single spill yet. So the big thing with like UPS or any carrier is like, you know, boy pill. So that's why we go through so much paper right. uh, on, a, on any given day uh, because they're big on that. And, you know, part of the reason why. Like if it's rattling, they won't want to ship it for you? It's not so much that, it's just the likeliness of damage happening uh, because it's rattling around. Uh, so the less that we can prevent that, uh, the better. Um, so, uh, so all this put together is less leaks, less damage to the bottles. Yep. Yep. That it shows up the way it should. Yep. Yep. So we try our best. Yeah. And you so swore to UPS when I was 18. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So you would know. Not so much a punt as it was like a throw it over the Right, top, right, you know, right, 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 right. So, so, you know, that's that's the challenge and no matter what, you know, it's um, it's always going to be a challenge for us. Uh, so we try our best. Okay. <laughs> it's like Chris from Vero, so yeah. they put a big yeah. put a big heart and exclamation marks around uh, this right here? Yeah. Well say I don't know, highlight that. That's <laughs> feel like that's mine. That's mine, yeah, that's <laughs> mine. Chris from Vero's. I did that. Enjoy my creation, my offspring. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at not only how your packages are prepared by Car Supplies Warehouse, but also a little sneak peek into what it was like at the Creator Summit. <laughs> are you really Jess? I am fragile. Are you really? If you, if you were to ask my girlfriend, I'm, a, I'm the sensitive one. I know, yes. I saw I saw the video where and you brought her flowers. Yeah, I just, I just with me, I'm like, I say it like that. And she's like, nothing, I'm just talking to you. But I'm like, I, I want the baby voice. I want the full set. Well, you already have one. I got one, you put another one on. It's true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the utmost of care. Cool. Already wet. And where do you guys put these on? On the sides. On this, like, here? One here? Yep. Just slapping it on. Uh, I don't want any any bubbles <laughs> in my good. sticker. You wouldn't make it. Any bubbles in my sticker. You wouldn't make it as a fulfillment. Can you give me a ruler. Things are backing up, Chris. Things are backing up. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start with the How many people can say that the person who made the products packaged the products? Straight to your door.
So we were there for two full days creating content, plus had a packed meet and greet on Saturday. And I have some videos already up on my channel, a few more to come. But hopefully you check out all of the different creators and the videos that we were able to collaborate and make at the Creator Summit. I had a blast. I already miss everyone and can't wait to see them soon. But hopefully you guys enjoy this behind the scenes look at the Creator Summit. Stay tuned for more content, but we'll see you guys in the very next detail. I'm headed home.